Well, good Friday afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So I'm sitting here. I'm getting uh, been here at the, the at home, actually in the man cave, which has been kind of crazy. We finally got our AC working. It's nice and cool in here. Thank goodness, because it is hot out here. I literally saw the devil sitting on the corner, and he was wiping his brow, wiping the sweat off the damn devil was wiping the sweat off it is so hot so if you are working outside like my man game time game time brian to make sure you got your mail to make sure you got your junk mail your social security check your medication if you are somebody like game time brian out there busting a the hump to make it so we can all make it please give them an applause and y'all please stay hydrated make sure you're not drinking beer that you're not drinking coffee that you're drinking water h2o high quality h2o h2o if you can get it because we need y'all around so I was getting ready to go down the road because I've done some work in my workshop here, making some pieces up that I need for the Red Brick House. And we'll be back there for our live stream tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you tune in because we'll be talking about quite a few things here. There is the controversy about Dak Prescott. Of course, yesterday he was seen with a soft cast on his leg, in which case um, some people were like, just trade him, just get rid of him, just cut him. He's just bad luck, man. Get rid of the guy. I never liked him anyway. It's it's time for a Trey Lance error. And then before I just about left, and it's a good thing I came down here because my studio software was still on. And if that was still on here, it would not work at the Red Brick House, which would be a problem. So it's a good thing I came down here to double check to make sure that AC drain was draining the way it's supposed to. And it is. And I saw this from one Cameron Newton. And I'm remembering the last time Cameron Newton talked about Dak Prescott. He said he's a game manager. Game manager. Nothing wrong with being a game manager, he said, but he's a game manager. So we're going to hear what Cam Newton on his podcast, Fourth and One, has to say. Now, I, I got to be honest with you. I had not been thinking about Fourth and One in a while, his podcast. But we all know that when you put Dallas Cowboys Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, Micah Parsons into the mix. People are going to watch, and just like me. So let's watch it together because I have not heard this, but I believe he's talking about the hierarchy, okay? Not the Colin Cowherd hierarchy, but his hierarchy of NFL quarterbacks with Dak Prescott. Let's see where he goes. Let, let's go. Let's listen in. In, in, yeah, in big it's games, working so well. But then, but 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 tell me this though. I know you saying like he need to double down and be like, all right, I don't need as much because I got paid before. But obviously, it's the NFL in sports anyway. Anything can happen, just like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he don't need to get him him like, bro. If y'all got it, I want it. Peggy, listen. Let me put it like this: free game. Okay. Free game. Fifty-five million dollars mm-hmm. annual. Mm-hmm. Okay. You already got money. If you put the salary cap in that much of a stronghold, what are you doing for the other supporting cast? Mm-hmm. If they're giving you $60 million every year, you're going to have to do three people worth of work. Yeah. If you make, okay. let's say, $47 mil, right? Okay. If you make $50 mil, mm-hmm. that's still a good number, bro. And you still got more or the or they have more to, to play with to go get you some help. We don't need you to break the bank. You already done broke the bank a couple times. So we and you still that. breaking the bank right now. We're talking about $40 million, yeah, man, a year, year man. Yeah. What them and that's checks that's coming 17 weeks. Come on now. Uh, please, somebody open up a calculator, put $40 million. <laughs> Fuck that. We're gonna go with Trevor ass. Oh, Trevor. Put, oh shit. 55. M&M's. Fifty-five. Three mil a week. Three point two. Three point two millions. For seventeen weeks. Yeah. You look at that damn bank account. That's Chase, crazy. Bank of America, BBNT, Credit Union. I mean, boy, listen. Come on now. You just make your own bank. <laughs> I'm the bank. The bank account just called the Holy Ghost. Oh. Woo. That's a lot of money, bro. Yeah, yeah. Three point mm. two million dollars 
a mm. week for 17 weeks. That's a lot of motherfucking money. That is. <laughs> like, bro, you ain't hurting for that. Because I'm looking at this list, too. The top 10 goes as follows. We got Trevor Lawrence. We got Joe Burrow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jared Goff. Okay. Justin Herbert. Okay. Lamar Jackson. Okay. Jalen Hurts. Okay. Kyler Murray. Okay. Deshaun Watson. Okay. Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Kirk Cousins. Damn. Okay. It's only one of them that have a Super Bowl. It's only <laughs> one guy that has a Super Bowl. Uh-oh. And there's a lot of guys on here that doesn't have a lot of playoff success. Yeah. So if you're going to sit up here and judge Dak Prescott on playoff success, and I'm looking at a list of guys that don't even have no playoff experience or not even a playoff win. Come on. The f- come, on. come on. What are we doing? <sighs> I don't know, man. What are you talking about? So, Dak, my boy, back to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to put your team in the bind and you want $56 million or 55.5, cool. But you're going to put us in the a, in a bind. But is he worth it? He is worth it. Okay, he's worth the money. He right. is worth it. Because I, I did it. Fuck, is he worth it? <laughs> I'm looking at the list. Uh-oh. The list tells me Go he's to worth church. it. Go to church. I would prefer Dak Prescott over Kirk Cousins. I would not prefer Dak Prescott over Patrick Mahomes, but he's sitting at nine. I would prefer, oh, mm. no, nah, Deshaun. I prefer Deshaun over, over Dak. Uh, Kyler Murray, I prefer Dak over Kyler Murray. Uh, Jalen Hurts, mm, I prefer Dak over Jalen Hurts. Okay. Lamar we're Jackson? We're going. Lamar. Lamar. <laughs> uh, Justin Herbert? Dak. Dak. Uh, Jared Goff? I'm going with Jared Goff. Yeah, he was about to. I'm yeah, joking. Okay. No, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not like crazy, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, okay. I'm still keeping it in the- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, let this expresso take over now. <laughs> Joe Burrow, I'm taking Joe Burrow. Okay. Trevor Lawrence, I'm taking Dak. Dak, yeah. So he in the mix. For sure. So it ain't that what I think Dak to be. It's what the market dictates yeah. Dak mm-hmm. to be. And Dak is better than half of the guys on this list. Yeah. So pay the man. But while you're going to get your money, Dak, be, <laughs> keep in mind, don't try to break the bank. Just take care of, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to eat the whole pie. Yeah. Just get a piece of the pie. Get a little piece of the pie, bro. I like pie, I'm too. You, you need Cardavius, Donnell, Lamb, yeah. CD. He's special. You ain't going to find him in no draft. Yeah. You're going to need that. Not twice. That motherfucker get the doing all that. <laughs> 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 get that motherfucker He's going. having his and best luck. around have some more money to go get you a little tight end. Yeah. On, gotta man. get you a And, and keep that defense. Hold up. Gotta keep Sheesh. that defense. Cause That's Lord knows, I don't give a damn. Podcast or no podcast, Michael Parsons is the deal. It's a, the big there deal. you go. Don't forget the a big deal. Stop playing with the it's boy. A, he gonna need some money too. Okay. So Everybody gotta eat, B. Shit. Everybody got, gotta eat. Uh, my boy coming off of uh, 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 Trayvon Diggs. Oh. He coming back healthy. Yeah. That defense was just dynamite. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And then Stephon Gilmore. We will put him right now. Oh, it, it don't matter. Yeah. We still can find us another top tier cornerback, yeah. or to go into free agency and go crazy, yeah. or trade deadline go crazy. Because you know how that season get a little shaky. Nope. All right. So thoughts on that? I'm not sure we can put Deshaun Watson still ahead of him. I mean, he's getting paid like he's well ahead of him. But Deshaun Watson has not been good since he was with the Texans. And I want to say that was 2021. The last two years have been abysmal. So he's got Jared Goff, Pat Mahomes. Um, um, who else? Who else he's got in there? Wait a minute. Jared Goff, Pat Mahomes. Uh, Cincinnati. Joe Burrow. He's got three guys. What's interesting is he didn't bring up that Josh Allen, who is right around that $40 million mark, being up in there. And he didn't bring up, of course, um, Los Angeles quarterback uh, Matthew Stafford. Although those guys, again, same member as Dak Prescott. So that's an interesting take on Cam Newton. And I actually have some thoughts that I'll share while I'm on the road here. It actually just kind of hit an idea in my mind here of something that might be really kind of interesting way to look at things. And I think it's kind of what I've said in the past before. But anyway, I appreciate you good people. And uh, we will see you soon. Peace out.